as you know, President Obama denied all along that this was a tax. Is he now prepared to defend it? George, I think we have to take a step back. Um, what is in the law is a penalty. It starts by saying all Americans have a right to health insurance. For Americans who buy health insurance or who can't afford it and get it through a government program, there is no penalty. That covers 99%. It covers 99% of the American people. In Massachusetts, where they had a plan like this under Governor Romney, 1% did not take insurance and they paid the penalty. Let's be clear about who that 1% is. Those are people who can afford health insurance, who choose not to buy it, and then when they get sick, they go to the hospital and the cost gets spread amongst all the people paying for insurance. So the law set it up as a penalty for people who make that choice. The court found it constitutional. Um, frankly, what you call it is not the issue. Except it's what they, it call, is. they found it constitutional because it is a tax, not a penalty. Here is the chief justice right here. He said the resp shared responsibility payment may for constitutional purposes be considered a tax, not yeah. a penalty. The, 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 the Supreme Court looked at what the structure of the law was, and they saw that 1% of the people would be paying this charge if they chose not to avail themselves of health insurance. But m more middle class people are going to get a tax cut in this law. There's a tax cut of $4,000 for people who need help paying for health insurance. For the very, very few who choose to go uninsured, who can afford it, and who are w saying that if I need health care, it's going to be someone else's burden, it says they have to pay a charge. You know, if you look at the past, since President Obama's been in office, middle class families have gotten a $3,600 tax cut. In this law, there's a $4,000 tax cut for people who need help paying for health insurance. For that 1% who have chosen not to buy health insurance and just to pass the burden on to others, there's this penalty. But you do concede, and you keep wanting to use the word penalty, you do concede that the law survived only because Justice Roberts found yeah. this to be a tax. Uh, you know, I, I, I think if you look at the decision, which is a very complicated one, um, you know, there are arguments uh, that support different theories. The, there was, the, there the, were five. The argument there, of Chief Justice Roberts the, is that it's a tax. He, what, he, he went through the different powers that Congress has, and he found that there is a power, whatever you call it, to assess a penalty like this. He called it a tax.